In late 2021, Dubai dazzled the world by unveiling the Ain Dubai, a monumental achievement in architectural grandeur. This remarkable endeavor was just one in a series of audacious projects designed to outshine everything that came before, setting new records in terms of size, height, and depth. After an arduous six-year construction journey, the colossal structure was revealed in a breathtaking spectacle of fireworks and exuberant festivities. Notably, the eye in Dubai proportions soared to nearly double those of the iconic London Eye, firmly cementing Dubai's status as a global pioneer in pushing the boundaries of architectural magnificence. Dubai had done it again, but after just a few months, its Ain Dubai suddenly closed. Few details were given other than it was undergoing enhancement works and will be running again in a matter of weeks. But more than a year has passed since then, and it still hasn't reopened. What's more, big questions are now being asked about when, or even if, we'll ever see it move again. So is the Dubai really getting some very serious upgrades? Or could the world's record-breaking Ferris wheel be broken? This is Blue Waters Islands, one of several new landmasses added to the coastline of Dubai and built using land reclamation. It's home to high-end residences, restaurants, shops, a hotel though, and a 250-meter high observation wheel that absolutely dominates everything else around it. But you could be forgiven for not taking much notice of this immense structure, despite its size. If you were to visit now, why? Well, because it's been out of action for over a year. And when it's supposed to be a major draw for tourists, that's not ideal. Before we delve any deeper, what makes this more than a simple fairground ride on steroids? Well, it's not just a really big Ferris wheel. Over 11,000 tons of steel were needed for the construction, and it was designed to carry 1750 people at a time across its 48 passenger cabins. Each leg is 126 meters long, about the same as 15 London buses, and bespoke cables contain hundreds of nine millimeters thick wires, which would span 2,400 kilometers if they were laid end to end. That's the rough distance between Dubai and Cairo. They all radiate outwards from the hub and spindle, a sort of central axle fitted with bearings or many big wheels. There are roller bearings made from steel, like on the London Eye, but in Dubai instead has sliding plane bearings made from a composite material. In the words of the company that made them, they need to be inspected, all replaceable, durable, cost-efficient, maintenance-free, and absolutely fail-safe. Just the hub and spindle alone are 40 meters long and 20 meters high and comes in over 1,800 tons. Overall, it's a lot of weight, which is why this whole structure sits on 35 meter piles, extending all the way down to the bedrock. The wheel was designed to withstand massive earthquakes and 100 mile an hour storms. Building it took some time, more than half a decade, although it was supposed to be completed quicker. Delays scuppered the original 2019 finish date, so it was pushed back to late 2020 in time for the Dubai Expo. But then COVID-19 put a stop to all that, meaning it wasn't until October 2021 that Dubai Holding, which owns the structure, could finally welcome the first passengers. For several months after the launch, all seemed well. Hundreds of thousands of visitors took the 38-minute rides. There would have been countless selfies and Instagram stories, and the island itself became a hive of activity. But it wasn't to last. Now, before we look at what could have caused it to stop, what does it take to be an engineer on a huge project like the in Dubai? Dubai has announced on their website that they will remain closed for the duration of the summer. The attraction was abruptly shut down, and the explanation given wasn't what you'd call detailed. There was only a statement on the Dubai website saying it closed for periodic enhancements and that it was planned to reopen at the end of Ramadan. A bit strange, but not a huge deal because that was only a couple of months away. And yet just a few weeks later, Dubai announced on their website that they will remain closed for the duration of the summer. That time period then became Q1 2023, again without any real specifics. When this deadline had passed and the wheel still hadn't moved, an update appeared on the site. In Dubai remains closed until further notice. As we continue to rigorously work on completing the enhancement works that have been taking place over the past months, once a reopening date is set, a further announcement will be made. Today, another 18 months have passed and gone with no extra news 
and attempts to get more information out of Dubai have failed. As for Blue Waters Island itself, it's reportedly quieter than in early 2022, when the landmark structure was in full swing. The big question then is, what could have happened? Well, it's difficult to say, and we've had no official word, and even people with links to the projects won't speak publicly. Despite this, recent reports have seen anonymous sources from the area offer some pretty shocking theories. Local residents claim they heard the structure vibrating loudly and that it shook the ground when it turned. According to a Washington Post article from July 2023, another unnamed person stated, some from the building management say something broke inside the main axle mechanism and others say it is sinking. I've heard hotel managers in the beach area facing the wheel say that calculating risk and damage estimates for the possibility that it falls. Although many of these claims are new, rumors about alleged design flaws that may have contributed to those early delays have been around for years. A CNN story published in 2021, just before the Ein Dubai opened, mentioned seized bearings that need to be replaced and sound issues with the cabins. These were denied at the time by a spokesman for the lead consultants and architects of record, who said, I've not heard of one rumor that is actually based on any facts. I've heard rumors that the foundations were sinking. For example, Dubai is the safest place to be in Dubai. The big one, having reached out to several companies that worked on the projects as well as the media team for the boy to get some official comment on the situation, we either received no response or were told they were under non-disclosure agreements and couldn't comment. So for now, the wait for definitive news on the future of this incredible structure continues. One day, the world will know what's going on in Dubai. But until then, it's going to remain one of construction's biggest mysteries. When first unveiled, Dubai offered further proof of the city's ability to build bigger than anywhere else. The work that went into making this enormous wheel operational, even temporarily, is remarkable. But whether it reopens again or not, the structure is perhaps a sign that breaking new ground in construction does have its limits, even in Dubai. According to a design director for one of the construction companies midway through the build, the sheer size of the Dubai will mean we are pushing the boundaries of engineering design. Could it be that on this occasion, Dubai pushed them too far? Thank you for watching this video on exploring Dubai's towering observation wheel. We hope you enjoyed the journey with us. If you found this video informative and engaging, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who might be interested in the marvels of construction. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Exclusive Explain, the definitive video channel for all things construction. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on our future videos exploring fascinating architectural wonders from around the world. Stay tuned for more exciting content from Exclusive Explain. Until next time, keep exploring and building.